Team 2, SAR 3 check. We got a 911 call from the family of a 57-year-old male. Check. This is the Doña Ana search and rescue team. Over here, so we cover the whole zone, move forward. And every month, they conduct a training exercise to prepare for the worst. Okay, we're going to do line searching today. We're going to practice that, make sure we're good at that. They've been honing their skills since the group was created in 1994. Team two, I can hear you. There are four squads, each specializing in a different area. Dog, drone, ATV, and ground teams. They train for rescue operations in the rough southwestern terrain. Prepare for loss of communication. We've been out many times and it's really windy and you can't hear each other, so make sure you have whistles. Uh, or a backup plan within your group. The team has rescued two people in the last four months. You know, so we have this beautiful area and people do get hurt and, and sometimes people die out here because they haven't taken the uh, correct precautions. The team responds to calls within a vast geographic area, including nearly 4,000 square miles that make up Donia Anna County, and mountain terrain with a vertical climb of 9,000 feet. Las Cruces terrain makes for beautiful hiking grounds, and Donia Anna Search and Rescue wants to remind hikers to come prepare and be aware of the hazards. Here are some tips that you should keep in mind. Hydration is everything out here. Uh, bring more water than you feel like you're going to need. And the next thing we recommend, and if you go out on a day hike, this might sound a little strange, we recommend uh, bringing flashlights or headlamps because many of our rescues are people that are caught out at night in the mountains. So even if a hiker goes out unprepared, copy that, proceed. The rescue team trains to be ready for anything. Kira Moots, News 22.